there, Prank Plant Girl here. Today I wanted to show you a little trick that I've learned to help prevent damping off um, when you're growing your seedlings. Um, if you don't know what damping off is, it's a fungal disease. It can happen through a lot of different funguses that uh, occur in your soil. And um, you'll see your seedlings, generally they'll come up, they look great, and then all of a sudden they're all, almost look like pinched off, wet, slimy down near the soil surface and they'll quite often be bent over and um, there's no bringing them back after that. So the best way to deal with it is to prevent it in the first place. The main thing to prevent it is of course to use sterile containers and uh, good quality or sterile potting mix um, and to have lots of good air flow and circulation around your seedlings. But uh, something else that I have discovered and I've been using for I think two, three seasons now is chamomile tea. So you just need a, a weak solution of chamomile tea. So I use like two tea bags to four cups of water. I've heard some people dilute it down even further than that. Um, you just steep it like you would regular tea. And then you just uh, let it cool down and put it in a spray bottle. And then you're just going to mist your uh, seed trays two or three times a week. You'll need to redo this solution about once a week just um, so that you know it's not going bad on you. You don't want to be introducing more pathogens. But chamomile has great antifungal properties so it will help to, to fight some of those things. Another thing that you can do is to add some cinnamon on top of the soil for plants that can be covered. Just a light sprinkling of cinnamon will help or mix it into your potting soil before you, go, you start seeding your seeds. But I really find that uh, working with the chamomile tea has made the biggest difference for me. You just want to spray it on lightly, like I said, two or three times a week, and uh, make a new batch every week, and you'll be good to go. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more about what's growing in my garden and in my grow room these days, then uh, hit that subscribe button and keep coming back for more. Bye.